try doing something different and see how your life changes. Most useful video, more than 7-8% annually, emphasis on annually, not monthly. The second strategic mistake is not creating a preserve fund. This is the most useful video I've ever released on my YouTube channel because it's about your money. Money that is yours today but could be someone else's tomorrow if you are not careful. So watch this video and make sure to subscribe. The first strategic mistake is not growing your income. It doesn't matter what your expenses are right now, big, small or somewhere in between. It doesn't even matter if you keep track of your expenses or not. What matters is if your income is not growing by at least 10% annually, then there is a high probability that you won't be able to make ends meet at some point. The second strategic mistake is not creating a reserve fund. How foolish must one be to not set aside reserve to compensate for any sudden drops in income? No one is immune to this, not you, not to me. You see, you might lose your job or something unexpected might happen or you might have extra medical expenses or other unforeseen in the cause. These tactical and strategic mistakes are about money and how they can lead people into poverty. Now you might comment asking how to create a reserve fund if you are working for minimum wage and barely making it to the next month. Listen, regardless of your income level and I emphasize any level, it is possible and necessary to create a reserve. Furthermore, those who set a strategic goal to create a reserve, even if it's just 10% of their income, will achieve it. The human brain is wired in such a way that what we are estimated to seems like it will always be that way, but we can instantly change our habits if we set a goal and start saving 10%. If anyone start doing this after watching this video, please leave a comment in the future videos referred to this video and let me know if you manage to save 10% of your income and create a reserve. Regarding people's desire to stay in their current state, I understand that too why change anything if you are already somewhat comfortable? But we must decide immediately. If we like the way we live, we should allow everything as it is. If we are not quite satisfied with our current lifestyle, we need to start changing something. I say try doing something different and see how your life changes. This reserve, do you understand what it can be spent on and what it can't. For example, if your wife wants to a new iPhone, can you dip into the reserve? With all due respect to women, reserves are not for consumption. They are for unforeseen, unexpected events. Also, many might say that a new phone for the wife is unforeseen expense. It's actually quite predictable. Just classify everything related to items, gadgets and the like. If it's something essential like shoes and you have none, and it's winter even, then it's not a significant reason to dip into reserve. Go earn it. Reserves are for things that have no seasonal cycles. These are extraordinary expenses such as health emergence or rescue in critical situations, something you couldn't have anticipated for prepare for in advance. Everything you could anticipate should be included in your regular income and expenses structure. I also want to discuss invest with you because I see that young people are very interested in this topic. Anyone 
who earns a little more than what they need for a living wants to invest in somewhere and receive passive income but very often people end up losing money instead any income will only come from what you understand and not otherwise willing on faith it's not an option so when people who don't regularly analyze this ability from these parameters spontaneously do something as soon as they have some money they naturally fall into traps they have seen on the internet or that a colleague at work told them about new invest opportunities why does this happen because we actually have poor memory and quickly forget what happened recently and we want to believe in miracles thinking that tomorrow we will win a million or that our investment which someone guaranteed to 40 percent monthly returns will be reliable this turned out to be paid for people who are no particular prepared to discussion between a scammer's bait and legitimate organization i can teach you how to distinguish them it's quite simple if you are promised a return of more than seven eight percent annually emphasis on annually not monthly seven percent or eight annually means less than one percent per month if you are promised more than this figure the probability that it's a scam is very high since you still can tell whether they're scammers or not just stay away they are scammers in every era the most important things is the human foolishness never goes away i don't know why people want to personally experience that being hooked hearts it's unpleased that so on and why they still for all this learns promise and so on i recommend to everyone after watching this video not only to close the leaks and the path to poverty for yourself but even more send this video to your friends family acquaintance and anyone you personally wish well i understand that you are hoping for a miracle but there is not a miracle here they will simply take your money